Okay, so here's how I do this. I got the modeling paste and I'm brushing it on. And why I like to use the brush is that it makes it kind of messy, kind of, I don't know, messy, but I like the look of that versus maybe using a trowel and having a smooth kind of, just get right in there and, and I try to keep the level uniform, kind of, it's just under a quarter of an inch. And this modeling paste doesn't shrink. So what you see is what you get. It, it's quite thick. I think it's more like an eighth of an inch. It's enough so that you can tell, you can tell it's lifting up off of the canvas I'm using. Y you guys have seen the wallpaper that's kind of high, <laughs> a little bit high up. Sometimes it's like velvet and it's very, very, I don't know, stuff out of like a palace or something. I've always liked that myself. So this is kind of the idea I'm going for. Something very, I don't know, just very feminine and frilly and going with that theme of France and Paris and castles. I don't know, I think, and it was on impulse that I did this. I wasn't planning on, on doing this and it's taken quite a bit of time. So each one of these panels I've done, this is my third one and it's taken me about, honestly looking back, probably four to four and a half hours each from the time I put the paint on to sketching in my, my measurements to laying on this stuff. There's a lot of cleanup involved, like um, every row I do, I have to wash my stencil, wash out my brush, and start from scratch. Okay. We have it. And then I'll just, I have lines drawn on with pencil, which I will erase after. And then I line it all up. And I try not to get tape on the stuff beside it. And then we'll go and do another row down.